residente ng Maynila, pumunta ako kasama ang ate sa Manila City Hall upang magbayad ng taunang amelyar o ang tinatawag na buwis o real property tax sa wikang Ingles. The Manila City Hall The Manila City Hall was designed by architect Antonio Toledo and was built in 1939. The City Hall is adorned by hexagonal tower with three clocks on three of its facets. After its completion, the building received negative reviews for its lack of aesthetic, lack of entrances, and how the clock tower was placed. Sadly, the City Hall was not spared from the ravage of war. During the Battle of Manila, the City Hall was heavily damaged from shilling. After the war, the City Hall was rebuilt through the War Repatriations Program of the United States and was criticized due to the shape of its floor plan which looked like a coffin or a shield of a Knights Templar. According to urban legends, it was made to look like a coffin to pay homage to those who died during the Battle of Manila. The Bonifacio Shrine, also known as the Cartilla ng Katipunan Park or Heroes Park, is a public park and plaza in Ermita, Manila, Philippines, located beside Manila City Hall. Its centerpiece is the monument to Filipino revolutionary Andres Bonifacio and the Philippine Revolution fronting Padre Burgos Avenue. History The Bonifacio and the Katipunan Revolution Monument Situated within the grounds of Bonifacio Shrine and designed by the Filipino sculptor Eduardo Castrillo was unveiled in 1998. On September 21, 2006, the Victims of Martial Law Memorial Wall was inaugurated at the park under the leadership of Mayor Lito Atienza. Lagusnilad Underpass, A Walk to History A colorful mural depicting the history of the Philippines adorned the wall of the renovated Lagusnilad Underpass. The newly redeveloped Lagusnilad Underpass has been inaugurated by the Manila City Mayor Francisco Isco Moreno Dumagoso and Vice Mayor Hani Lacuna Pangan on August 24, 2020. The redevelopment of the underpass was designed by the alumni from the University of Santo Tomas, namely architect Juanico Malaga, UST graduates Jan Palorina, 
Sin Ortiz and Leon Tuanson in collaboration with the Department of Engineering and Public Works. The redevelopment commended in November 2019. Key issues such as flooding, vagrants, and security had been addressed with the key agencies such as DPWH-NCR, Manila Security Office and Department of Tourism, Culture and Arts of Manila. The underpass will have 24-7 security, composed of designated security personnel and CCTV cameras connected to the Manila Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office Command Center. The mural and the bas relief artwork was created in collaboration with the National Commission for Culture and the Arts and the NCCA guerrilla artists inspired from the works of the famed artist Botong Francisco. Thank <laughs> you.